Hi, Tantric Travelers. Welcome to Tantric Traveler Tarot. Today we're doing a What's Your Frequency video. And even though I tried to prepare it for an extended period of time, my device and the setup wouldn't let me actually do the reading. So I just sat down on the bed and started shuffling. And what do you know? Three queens came out in a row. And this is a beautiful sign because I was really thinking, meditating, and feeling really a lot of emotion and agitation regarding some of the planetary events that have been occurring in the past little while, um, and feeling it in my own physical and emotional body, in my spiritual body, and in the connection that is so important, which is... Um, the connection of my being with my planetary parent, Gaia, mommy, daddy. So the imbalances that are occurring within our beautiful planetary parent are also occurring within us as natural divine beings who live here. So I thought that we could check out our frequency today. And frequency is something that changes all the time and it's composed of a lot of different um, influences and elements both what you attract and emit and the natural frequency that you came in with as a being of source and how it's been affected by your environment um, your self-knowledge what you surround yourself with um, the more that we align with the natural matrix of this planet, the more our natural frequency will return to us, the more we will return to our natural state. Um, and we can feel right now with the so-called environmental events that are occurring in Gaia and with the political, so-called political events that are occurring um, in the human community and the media matrix, which is artificial, by the way. The matrix is. I'm not saying that these things aren't occurring, but the way that they are being portrayed and the way that we are being um, expected to perceive them is not right. So let's look a little bit deeper and let's come into our own energies and figure out exactly who we are how we are contributing, how we might be able to heal these energies within ourselves. So if you want to start by choosing one of the three queens who flew out of the beautiful animal tarot deck as I was just shuffling, we have pile one or row one, the queen of winged ones, scarlet macaw, vision and spiritual perception. She has the lovely red tiger's eye above her with um, this beautiful blue kyanite below her and you can see there's full frequency rainbow colors these two beautiful scarlet macaws queen of swords energy so that's a balanced and full spectrum mental energy if you're feeling that that's what you're attracted to that could be your frequency the second one with bloodstone, this gorgeous green stone, which is an absolute magical gem to use in connection with the planetary matrix. And this vagina seashell, um, which I received from the Pacific Ocean. We have queen of four-legged or queen of pentacles, lynx, wild cat of the north, hidden knowledge and creativity. And the third row, the Queen of Shapeshifters, or the Queen of Cups, came out. And above her, we have this gorgeous collective cooperative energy of smoky quartz babies. And this Azurite mixed with Malachite. So the Queen of Shapeshifters, or Queen of Cups, intuition and power of belief. If you want to take a minute and feel out your own frequency and what you're attracted to today, do so. I'm holding the camera or the device in my hand, so excuse the shaky shaky. And let's go to the first row, 
frequency of Queen of Winged Ones, Scarlet Macaw. First off, I'm going to say, you're freaky, baby. And you're definitely an artist. You're definitely visually oriented, and you are a communicator, and you communicate in all languages, especially the universal languages of music and the visual arts. Color is extremely important to you. It affects your moods greatly, and you share your energy with the world by the way you dress, the way you speak, your colorful language and expression. You're freaky. You're a freak, and you're not afraid to show it. You let your freak flag fly. Let your freak flag fly. Um, you like a partner who is just as freaky as you and you're an amazing kisser and when you kiss you draw in the frequency of the full spectrum of unconditional love so you have kissed partners and adored ones of all genders <laughs> from all over the world and beyond you like a variety of partners as far as visual appearance, um, different physical traits and qualities of beauty. You love uniqueness and you're an amazing communicator. And I think, I think you're really good at speaking in a sensual, sexy, creative way. And even sound, the sound of your love calls and your love songs and whispers are a huge turn on to your partners. And they know you're a freak. They like it. Um, you also draw in a lot of light, a lot of clarity. You like to do it in the daylight. You, I think you're, you're like an early morning and late afternoon kind of lover. Those are your best times for getting down. And yeah, sometimes... People might be intimidated by your sexual power, which you kind of carry with you in your confidence. And you might have been painted as, you know, a whore or a slut or a player. Those words might have been used against you in a jealous or judgmental way. But you don't give a damn, queen of winged ones. Because you know you're free and you do what you want and you share your spectrum with the world. Um, your openness is appreciated and your frequency is a blessing to this planet. So thank you for being who you are. You're also receiving the gifts of the High Priestess and you're also using the gifts of the High Priestess. And there's some similarities in this energy as to those we just discussed. This is not nicotine, by the way. This is from holding sage <laughs> while I was burning it. Anyway. <laughs> so the High Priestess, you can see this beautiful web of the filament of unconditional love and infinite light, which is woven through the natural matrix of our planet, through the body of sacred spider. And the secrets of this design are more ancient than the human imagination can fathom. And High Priestess holds the secrets of those designs and those gifts. She holds the secrets of knowledge received through the air, of knowledge received through sound and any other vibrations of the natural matrix. This is how you pick up your information and music is very important to you um, and just the waves of energy of the universe starlight um, is very it speaks to you very profoundly and the waves in water speak to you very profoundly you are aware that water is a carrier of divine light intelligence and 
the information that you both receive and emit as well as transmit through water is very important to your power and this is one of your natural gifts you are in the frequency of the high priestess and many lifetimes and many parallel existences you have led as a spiritual communicator a healer and an artist and your your gifts still lie maybe hidden from the eyes of others but not to yourself this knowledge is yours to tap into and to use for the benefit of all in your row we also have the seven of four legged or the seven of earth which is rabbit proper use of cycles look at this gorgeous golden eyed herbal gorgeous creature there's a lot of patience here as well in spite of the the fire and color of energy um, present in scarlet macaw there's so much patience and so much deep understanding of the spiral of time and space and the ability to be still the ability to observe the ability to receive the rhythm of the planet and to match it drumming i feel and that kind of rhythm um, could be very powerful to you so if you're feeling a need or want desire to connect more deeply with earth energy um, drumming is coming through as a possible technique for you and also I mean rabbit is this very fertile energy and I feel that your sexual energy is immense but at the moment you may be in a state of stillness or not disconnection but a voluntary kind of celibacy which is a gathering of your power for the near future I feel that from this energy that your frequency has been getting to getting to a state of understanding itself so you've been possibly in a more solitary kind of cycle and in a cycle of patience for this self-knowledge to come into being and you might have been reigning in or conserving some of your sexual energy for your own um, your own power in the near future I feel that there will be a, a rebirth or birthing of a lot of the creativity that you've been um, co-manifesting with our planetary parent and with your sovereign divine self so that's hot very hot even though rabbit is considered to be a lunar animal I feel that there's a very masculine energy um, in this this part of the harmonic frequency in your row um, so you've got the air of the Queen of Swords so it's a queen but she's air which is a masculine element you've got the high priestess very very feminine deeply feminine and then you have the seven of four legged or pentacles so it's an earth element which is feminine but this hair or this rabbit is very masculine to me and I think it's a balanced um, energy that's coming through with um, with these together being harmonic in your frequency so enjoy that beautiful queen of winged ones scarlet lady beautiful lady beautiful gentlemen okay so 